recording. Okay, everyone, welcome to Slate House Home Repairs educational series. This one is going to focus on lead paint safety. It's a real hot, hot item right now in uh, the local legisla legislation. Uh, so let me go through a couple things you need to do if you're planning on removing drywall or removing windows uh, from a house that's older than 1978, which is most houses around, you know, in the cities. So step one, you should be lead paint certified. It's a four hour class. Uh, it costs like a hundred bucks. Um, take it. It's good for a few years. You have to get it renewed every few years. But once you have that certification, you can then do this, uh, you can remove uh, drywall and windows from older houses. Here's the couple steps you should take. Step one, let the tenants know that you're working in there. So hang it on the front of their apartment door, say something, or say something to the effect that your house is old, it might, it might not have lead, but we're gonna assume that it does and we're gonna take safety precautions. We are trained, we are lead paint certified, and we're doing everything in a safe manner. Uh, here are the couple things you need to do. So first thing you need to have plastic sheathing. It needs to be six, six millimeters. Uh, there's some, some four millimeter stuff, two millimeter stuff, that's no go. Uh, the state says it has to be six millimeters thick, which is a little more expensive. Um, first thing you want to do, you don't want this to happen. You want it to be nice and secure. You probably really should make a better seal. Um, this is just for pretend, so maybe I should have done a better job. But you want to seal off all of the doors in the area that you're working. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go around and put the plastic on the floor. So if you're cutting drywall, all of the dust is going to fall on the plastic, not onto the floor. And then the last thing you want to do is come around and look for any vents or registers in the, for the HVA, HVA system, HVAC system. Because take a look at this, the air is pulling all the stuff out of this area. So if you didn't do that, you'd have all the lead going into there. Tape it around and, and seal it. I'm not gonna leave it there for now. Then when, that's all you really need to do. Then when you're done, fold it all up, try to contain all of the, all the drywall dust and paint chips in. The, the biggest thing is don't get the chips, the paint, the dust up in the air. Try to keep it contained. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. You can check out our website at www.slatehousegroup.com. All right, talk to you later. Bye.